I thought that speaking to you at this point would be a relatively moot point in fact, in, in light of the fact that the defendant is scheduled to receive a sentence of life without parole. However, last week, in their infinite wisdom, the New York State Senate Crime Committee has passed out for consideration by the entire Senate a completely misguided piece of legislation known as the Elder Parole Act that I sadly had to inform the victims and the survivors of this morning in my conference room. This would, according to their press release trumpeting this nonsense, it does not exclude anyone on the basis of their crime, conviction, or sentence, and would allow this individual to be parole eligible at the age of 55. For the last seven months, I've been telling these people that he'll die in prison. In 40 years of public service, I don't think I've ever seen a, 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 an organization that cares less about victims that they could even consider such a piece of legislation. So I thank my colleague for the Northern District, Grant Jaquith, and the Attorney General for their decision to at least make an effort to put Mr. Wood to death. As Mr. Wood begins his sentence, and hopefully in the future has a date with a needle and a gurney, let no one be born that would even consider letting him out for elder parole, for compassionate parole, or for whatever insidious, disgusting label some future legislator may attempt to put on. Two beautiful young men who are forever in our members, and two survivors whom the good Lord almost has some plans for. On their behalf, Judge, I ask you to impose the agreed upon sentence and rid our community forever of Mr. William Wood. And I further ask that at the conclusion of those proceedings, you, ran him, you remand him to federal custody. Thank you, Your Honor.